I got absorbed. What happens when I start coding? <clears throat> okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, I won't do it for very much longer, Kata. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, our Agenda has not changed significantly unless somebody updated it in the last few minutes. Um, but we can work through it anyway here. Um, so, server side appearance. Uh, we have had for a few days now, uh, sorry it took so long, there was some confusion about it. Uh, but we have had a f for a few days now um, regions in the Testylvania estate that you have access to and can test on Agni. Um, so there is no reason not to have done that. And and testing has been happening. Yes, that's a that's a good thing, and we appreciate it. Um, at least one fairly serious problem has been reported by our very own Jessica. Sorry about that. Oh, no. That's what actually, testing is for. You know, I'm, I'm not actually sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it Whirly that found it, though? No, Whirly was able to reproduce it. I, I, I never uh, find anything on purpose. It was purely accident, so I don't get credit, but... Hey, you noticed it and you reported it, so you get all the credit you deserve. Um, uh, I didn't do it. We 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 don't actually know what's going to be ultimately done about that. That is a subject of um, vigorous discussion that's going on even as we speak. Um, so um, we'll see how that how that plays out. Um, I, think, I think it's fair to say, actually, that regardless of, of what happens with that particular issue, and, and for those who have not been following it, um, Jessica found that uh, a couple of wear modifiable wearables she had on when she logged in using an old viewer on a server-side bake region got modified, and she got... Uh, I, I guess you got a prompt that said, do you want to save the changes or something? Yeah, you get, uh, when you log into, or not log into, when you teleport into a server-side server uh, appearance enabled region, you get a notification asking if you'd like to save changes to your avatar. And if you click yes, um, Nix believes that it, actually that your assets are corrupted even before that. But if you click yes, then you've saved that corruption to your asset. Uh, being, um, so far as we know, just the avatar skin and avatar eye texture. Well, those were the examples we had. Um, yeah, we, there may be since more. Since we haven't been able to reproduce it in a in a in a real methodical way, um, if it were me, I would assume that if you were wearing, if you had any any uh, layer on that was modifiable and. Uh, that this might be a problem. Um, so, um, but but regardless of whether or not we figure out a way to deal with this particular specific problem, um, I, I will just make the observation that uh, there are still people running really, really old viewers. There is no way, no way at all that we could even begin to test for compatibility back with all of those viewers. Um, to be specific, let me pull up last week's numbers. Oh, as of for oh, over the course of last week, there were 1,665 
That's 1,665 different viewer version strings reported on the grid. Okay? There is no way we can test whether or not even a significant majority of those is compatible with anything, much less with changes as important as server-side appearance. And we're not even going to try. We can't. It's not possible. We're not going to claim that we've done anything of the kind. So um, it really is important that people upgrade their viewers. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have put up our blog post about that. Um, if, um, if you individually want to be putting up, you know, sending notices or, or yes, yeah, destroying people's inventory is bad. What I'm saying is that, you know, if we can figure, hopefully we'll be able to figure out the specific instance and, 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 and prevent that from happening before we throw any switches. But, but that doesn't mean that we're not going, that there aren't going to be other ways of doing similarly bad things that we simply cannot anticipate or detect. Um, you know, we could spend the next six months testing and we still wouldn't have a prayer of covering all the cases. Um, so we're not, and we're not going to spend the next six months trying to test for them. So, um, so it, it really is a bad thing to, to be running an old viewer through a change this big upgrade upgrade if you need a linden to chime in about how important this is on one of your blogs or you need a quote from somebody or you need some help in this um, speak up i will do everything i can to support your efforts to 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 get people to upgrade um there are a couple of issues with this OS. There are some people who are in perpetual this real soon now mode, and for whatever reason, an older viewer works good for them, and they say, you know, when avatars turn gray, I will upgrade. Yes, and uh, hopefully hey, not hey. too much damage will happen uh, in the in the transition, uh, and that's basically yes, the best idea. Having, I having a date would be helpful in convincing people. It's it's everybody's goal to move people to newer viewers. But having some date would be helpful with that, with this attitude. Good point, and I'll, I'll take that Two back weeks. to the people who decide on what we can say. Two weeks' notice would be Well, uh, I, I, I have no, as you know, I'm not going to make any, any predictions about when it's going to be, or, uh, and, I, and I can't. Right now, I'm not in a position to promise you that you can have uh, any notice at all. Um, and so, I'd like to expand on what Worley said. Uh, th there's some that you just aren't going to update, period, and, until y you, you can tell them until the cows come home. And it ain't going to make a damn bit of difference. They're not going to upgrade until they actually have a problem. And quite frankly, I have a really bad attitude about that. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well it, um, it, it, the uh, I understand that that psychology is out there. Uh, I have certainly encountered it before, um, and it may well be that they'll end up having a worse problem than having a gray avatar. Uh, and, and yeah, well, we actually discussed the other day blocking um, Phoenix entirely. We're, we actually had that conversation. I'm not particularly in favor of that, but. Uh, well, I, I mean, if 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 people decide that that's what they want to have happen for for anything that they have identified a specific problem with, uh, and Phoenix now qualifies as having identified a specific problem, um, that's something we can have a conversation about. Uh, you know, um, well, we have that I, capability I built into all of our Phoenix uh, builds and Firestorm that we can. Uh, block them from logging in. Um, and if it turns out that Linen Lab can't do anything to prevent this uh, this uh, bug 74 from potentially happening, if there's nothing you can do about it, then I, I'll have to seriously consider, you know, blocking. Um, 
what is just, it, 60,000 people. But. Just a silly thought there, though, Jess. Um, Oz, would the lab be willing to uh, block logins to the grid for specific, uh, like, Phoenix? Oh, I know that way, lab can do it. Here's my yeah, problem with that. Here's it, it, my problem with that. No, Linden it, Lab can't just provide... A sec, let me finish. If Linden Lab could keep them from logging into SL, then we would still they would still be able to use it on other grids. That's where I'm going with that. I, I see, but my my issue with that though is that um, Linden Lab doesn't have or doesn't put in a, a custom reason why the viewer was blocked, which is why we developed our own blocking mechanism in the first place, so that we can provide a this is why you can't log in on this viewer now and and here's where you can go to get an update or whatever. Uh, whereas the Linen Lab block is is very um, uh, generic. And oh my God, Phoenix has been banned. Linen Lab is banning the Firestorm project. Oh my, so we don't need that drama. Fortunately, that's that's true. Uh, the the you, you just get back a binary response. Uh. That's that's why we have our system. I, I mean, honestly, blocking a release is, even though we're capable of it, it's, it's really last resort. Yeah, this needs fixing. As uh, simple as that, you know, going out with uh, with this uh, server side change and having people uh, get uh, their inventory destroyed is, is shouldn't be even considered. Well, if if it's possible to fix the particular problem that Jessica ran into, then then obviously we'll fix it. Uh, I, I I don't believe we're far enough along to know whether or not that's possible. Um, but it is possible, and you should do it. So we, we don't know that yet. We we don't know that that it's possible because we don't of have it's we don't possible. no we don't have a solid repro. We get we have not yet been able to duplicate the problem under controlled conditions. Um, and so um, until we can do that, we cannot know that we have reproduced it, and therefore we cannot know that we have fixed it. It's um, difficult to reproduce it on 1.23 because 1.23 tends to crash at the moment that that bug is occurring, and so that changes in being saved, uh, whereas Phoenix doesn't crash. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to get. I, I don't want to get. Spend a lot of time on that particular problem. We will do. We will make whatever most you know diligent effort we can with respect to that one particular known, already known problem. Regardless of the outcome of that, even if we get a 100% confidence fix in that problem, there are 1,665 viewers out there. We are not going to catch all the bugs in all of them. If any of them have similar problems, it's just going to be bad if people are running them. And that's just the way it is. Um, we're not going to even make an attempt to 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 test even a small fraction of them. Um, it's just not possible. Even if you guys participated, it still wouldn't be possible to test more than a couple of dozen. And we're just not going to go there. Uh, I mean, there are there are uh, you know. Let me look, look at let me look at my numbers. There are there are fifty versions of Phoenix active on the grid. There are 151 versions of Singularity active on the grid last week alone. Okay, there are there are you know so the, it's just not going to happen. There are 262 that are labeled Firestorm, right? Um, now I suspect that Firestorm, you know, being based on the newer code base probably doesn't have anything as, as seriously out of whack and probably our backwards compatibility testing reasonably applies. But some of those 262 are probably pretty old. Yeah. Oh. And some of them probably aren't even ours and are you know self compilers making changes. I'm sure I'm sure that a, a, a large fraction of them are are self compilers uh, who may or may not have made changes. Right. Um, but that just adds to the complexity even right. just there. Right. I mean, so so it's, not, it's just not going to happen. So um, that's why it's important that we all, and I do mean we, I, I, I do share the responsibility for this, uh, you know, that we do everything we can um, in cooperation with you to get people to upgrade to a version that's believed to be compatible. 
Um, so, uh, I, I realized that, yeah, I mean, push that rock. Uh, it, it's, it, you know, this is, it, it is a, it is a task we, we have to all accept is ultimately impossible. We're not going to get everybody to upgrade. Um, but it's probably worth investing a substantial amount of energy and effort and imagination in trying to figure out how to get them to do that uh, as, as, as much as we can, right? So uh, actually, I, 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 uh, I've got a couple of thoughts on, on how Linden Lab can help, and I'll, I'll try to push on some of those internally, uh, and we'll see what, what we can do. Um, so, but if, if you have any thoughts about ways we can help you, uh, share them with me. I, I can't obviously make any blanket statements about we'll do anything you need us to, but uh, I will certainly consider any, any ideas you think are worthwhile and uh, try to get, try to get something done. Um, I'm, you know, I'm more than a little bit scared about this, but then I'm a, you know, I'm a pessimist. So, um, that, that where that stands right now. So, other, other server-side server appearance-related issues besides, you know, possible bad things with old viewers? Yeah. Personally, I'd just like to uh, thank all the Lindens that have been working on this and working with us to uh, try to make this a smooth transition. I want to thank all of you for spending the evening um, the other day when we pushed this out and talking with me and testing and to uh, Worley and Jessica for writing up such a thorough bug and just for keeping us looped in in what you're finding. Um, as we move forward, a couple uh, thank someone you for mentioned. The little, for the little thank, and, and just on a lighter note, thank you for the for to whoever built the bake fail bar. Um, that was that was a team nice, effort. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice touch. Nice touch. I like it. Sorry, go ahead. Someone mentioned. Someone mentioned. If you have alts that you need for testing that you need to have um, added to the test opinions, please go ahead and email me or IM me directly with the names, and I will take care of that. Um, if you run into any other oddities, um, I am always around. I, as Worley and Nikki know, um, I'm on Skype anytime. I'm not sleeping or driving, so should things uh, happen, I. I'm checking emails throughout the weekend and evening, and I'm normally pretty fast to respond. Thank you, Alex. I have some tools that uh, look deeply into the protocol while we were connected. I'll try to look into this and see if I can sniff out anything. That would be great. Thank you very much. That, would, that might be a big help. Um, okay, so moving moving on from server side appearance, uh, as much fun as that is, uh, materials is imminent. It's 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 even sooner than real soon now, um, like possibly minutes. Uh, going to beta as in release. Beta, beta, beta. 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 Um, say. Yeah, no, no, we're not. We're not quite that nuts. We're not that crazy. Um, <laughs> Give us a little time. Uh, Please, I can only juggle so much at one time. Yeah. Um, so uh, the uh, the the but the but I I think there's a very good chance it will it will be in the beta channel any minute now. Um, the the. Uh, for anybody who hasn't been following it. So that's the repo out of which the beta viewer is being built. 
Uh, and um, in fact, a build finished a few minutes ago that may actually be the one that, that goes to the beta channel. Um, so uh, you should feel free to begin thinking about incorporating that feature if you haven't already. Um, it is believed to be pretty close to correct at this point. There are a couple of known problems, but nothing particularly earth-shaking. Firestorm uh, is going to be behind with... So, um, yeah, I mean, if, and if, if there's things we can do to help you with understanding what needs to happen with the, with the port on that, um, by all means, let us know, uh, material support has been in all of the server versions for quite some time. There may be a few laggard regions on Aditi because Aditi is extremely fragmented, but um, on Agni, everything has, has been materials capable for quite a while. Um, so uh, that's all out there, um, and, and therefore testing should not be at all difficult. Uh, I think it would be, I, th I think you'll find that this would be a good feature to, to incorporate as quickly as you reasonably can. Um, it's, it's pretty slick. Um, you can do some pretty great things with it. And if there's anything we can do to help you with that, do let us know. Where's Chewy for us? <laughs> yeah, currently we're held out with Chewy. Uh, actually, currently we're held out with getting um, minor update out to fix some of the bugs from 440 and then back to Chewy. Uh, so we can't start on materials until we get Chewy done. Chewy and materials shouldn't overlap a lot, so um, uh, that you, you know you might be able to do some parts of that in parallel. Uh, the the changes for materials are are mostly in the rendering pipeline and of course the build floater. Um, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how a RLVA will be affected by it. Uh, well, since it since right now there's no script interactions with with materials, um, I wouldn't expect to see much. That's something you'd you'd be more experienced at assessing right. than I am, or Kitty rather. Yeah, well, and. Kitty participated in building it, so yeah, uh, that's you know something she knows more than a little bit about. Um, so that's coming, and uh, anybody who wants help with understanding what they need to do, um, give us a shout. Um, the five X upgrade is actually getting attention again, um, and. We'll probably be in a candidate version real soon now. Um, group bands, I don't believe there's any been any any change. So those those are the, the active things we're tracking. Um, let me see here. Other things I need to alert you to. So we're going to be. Hopefully, uh, within a couple of weeks, we're going to be shifting to the new release process fully. Um, testing on that is going really, really well. Um, uh, needless to say, since it touches fewer upgrades and login, we're being extremely conservative about, about testing everything as, as thoroughly as we possibly can figure out how to do before we try to touch any production systems. But uh, so far, the testing is going really well. and um, uh, I think we actually will be able to start tweaking that pretty soon. And what that will mean is that uh, there will be, you know, multiple development projects putting out putting out development viewers and beta viewers and, and, and even release candidates simultaneously. So uh, like we do with the servers. Uh, and, and there are a bunch of those in the pipeline. Um, mostly relatively small 
things. There's a collection of open source contributions that has been on the back burner while I work on on the release process and materials that I will certainly get out as a as a release candidate quickly. Uh, there's a similar pretty substantial batch of uh, backlog of maintenance fixes, just you know bug fixes of various sorts. Um, we'll be seeing an experience tools viewer uh, real soon um, and and some other stuff. Uh, so those should all be um, things you can see and for which you can see sources roughly when the when the viewers become available. Um, the experience tools viewer will have the capability to give people the ability to create experiences who have experience keys. Um, I mean, it's it's just a way of interacting with the backend tools for creating experiences. Um, so, um, do you have any docu for that? Yeah, it's 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 in production, but it's yeah. Sorry. Um, uh, it, it's in production, and when it's available, I'll I'll, I'll send you pointers. But uh, it's not it's not done enough yet. Uh, there 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 is development going on on uh, the interest list viewer. I think they're believing that they're they're getting closer to being stable. I don't know about interactions with older viewers and how how much they've solved those problems or not. I, I'm just not up to date on it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. And there's, yeah, so there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Um, and the pipeline will, will get wider that is, it will be replaced by many pipes um, probably shortly after the materials goes out and maybe even before materials goes to release. So, uh, so I, I think that's all the updates I've got. Um, Brooke wanted me to ask you when you would have materials ported and included in your viewers. So consider yourselves asked, but I don't expect the answers right now. Um, if you want to share that with me, I'd be delighted to hear it uh, anytime. Um, yeah, when it's I'm, done? I'll, 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 <laughs> yeah, can I use I know. the same thing that you said very soon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll maybe it'll get us a, a couple of points of viewer share for a few weeks. Do you have any metrics? Just out of curiosity, do you have any metrics on uh, pathfinding and how many people are utilizing that? Uh, I personally do not. Um, it, it may be that those that that they exist. Uh, I haven't I haven't looked, um, and uh, so I I don't know. It. Uh, We've actually made some improvements to deferred in the course of doing the, the uh, materials stuff. So I think people should give it another try. I get like 60 frames per second with shadows, so I don't really care. <laughs> I have two <laughs> words for you, Tank. <laughs> Get Titan. <laughs> uh, yeah, we 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 have made some we have made some improvements. We also went back and looked around for uh, complaints people had about about how something how, how things behaved in in deferred that that were 
aside from performance that that we're putting that we're off putting and and we've tried to address a couple of those um uh so we'll we'll see yeah um actually i wouldn't i wouldn't mind having that whirly but i'd mostly be interested in whether or not they're reproducible on the materials viewer um Yeah, well, I, so I don't know. I, I mean, I, I understand that, you know, people have these objections and uh, to to be perfectly frank, mostly I can't see what, what it is that they're complaining about. So people send me these, you know, side-by-side -side snapshots and say, look, the one on the left is great and the one on the right is really awful. And I look at them and I almost always can't see the difference. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot of that's screen is you know related because if you have something with a really high dpi anti-aliasing doesn't really make any difference but if you have a lower dpi monitor then it makes a big difference i fully understand that that uh you know that that yeah context is everything here um um oh there there is one thing that uh it, that in in particular as you port the feature that you may you may uh run into um and and which you know we mentioned in the release notes of of uh, that are in preparation for the the release viewer for the for the materials viewer release i should say um and that is that one of the things we've done in the course of this is add gamma correction in in the materials viewer so we have we have some attempt to do camera correction and uh that is going to cause some things to render slightly differently i mean if you if you if you run a, a non-materials viewer and look at a particular scene um and then run the materials viewer and look at the very same scene there are lots of places where it's not going to look uh exactly the same identical well i mean whether it's brighter or darker, uh, it depends on, on, on the features of the scene to a great extent. Um, we, we get complaints. We have gotten complaints from, from early users in both directions. Um, and some of those we've addressed and some of them are just inevitable result of the fact that we're doing fancier things with light. And, and so some of the colors are going to end up a little different. Um, we have made an attempt to at least make them consistent within the materials viewer. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but, but don't expect everything to look exactly the way it did before. Um, it won't. Uh, and so we'll be able to use uh, the as, 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 uh, <laughs> as, as Dave P said, uh, the other day in, in one of our bug triages, um, it doesn't look exactly the same is not a bug. <laughs> so we'll be able to use a gamma correction um, after you log in, because right now it only works if, when you're not logged in, I think. Or is it uh, something different? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You're, 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 past, you're past my expertise. <laughs> but... Okay. Yeah. Um, so let's see, uh, anyway, um, I think that's what I've got for the day. So the floor is open. Uh, the only thing I want to say is I'll be bugging you for a, a quote that I can use on my blog post uh, when we get close to, once we get the warning. Boss? Yeah, cool. Uh, I I always have to um, please please understand that I always have to get anything like that yep. run yeah. by the appropriate authorities um, because that way I can't be blamed later. Um, yeah. Yeah, but, that, that's... Uh,
That's why I'm mentioning it now, so you can start working on it and so get it approved. Right. I, I probably actually should do that. That's a good idea. I'll try to come up with a couple of generic ones that I can that I can do and uh, and 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 get with the the right folks to get them get them signed off in advance. Um, oh, and um, go ahead. Go ahead. Free Baker up for me, please. <laughs> I uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't actually I, I was kind of wrapped up and I didn't actually even attempt to get an update from him uh, before before this. Well, he did start a repo, so uh, he okay. does have something. In, well, it, there was nothing on it when I saw it, but it was up on Bitbucket. Well, then you're you're more in touch than I am. Um, Thanks Bitbucket has a Bit, Bitbucket has a, a marvelous feature, by the way. You know, you can you can. You can watch a repository, and you'll see you'll get email whenever people commit to it. Um, it's kind of a nice feature. Yeah, it has RSS feeds, the whole thing. So you can you can uh, you can follow a lot of stuff. Um, I wish our internal server had the same thing, but it doesn't. Come on, Jess, start talking. Oz is going to get to uh, leave early on a Friday. Well, I've, I've, I've actually <laughs> got to leave as soon as this is done. I've got a three-day shoot out of town. But, really, what was that issue that I commented on with Brooke? It's really bugging me. I can't remember what it was. Um, it was a change to something that was breaking content. Oh, related to note cards or something? It was, um, it was breaking something and then was she it was a, pointing to Marketplace to, 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 you could, you know, replace your broken content with this stuff, which was also being broken by that change. It was a server change. So it's in one of the release candidates for the server? <sighs> oh, that was it. VWR search, right, thank you. Um, you wouldn't happen to have the chair handy for that, would you? <laughs> so, Oz, while Whirly does her magic pulling that up, um, Linen Lab apparently uh, disabled, or sorry, um, deprecated uh, VWR search uh, for some unknown reason. Um, and uh, Brooke was recommending people go and use these HUDs on Marketplace, which do the same thing. I pointed out to her that those HUDs also use VWR search, which you've broken. Um, so my question is, and I'm sure you don't have an answer right now, but maybe you can look it up. Uh, if I remember, vaguely remember, the end result was that it was turned back on um, temporarily until they reassess the situation. And I'd just like to make sure that the situation is reassessed is in, in that you can't turn off VWR search because you just break too much content. Yeah, I, VWR search I, 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 I kind of vaguely recall hearing that, that discussion yeah. go by. Um, I, I, I don't... Uh, well, the the it's, uh, name to uh, name to key um, key to name. Right. It's the it's the there's a there's it's it has been it's it's a feature of the old search system that has that has been used to provide for translation between avatar names and keys in one direction or the other. I forget which. Um, even though that key. wasn't it it's was named a key. Yeah. Um, uh, in fact, this yeah, was the. I, this was the, uh, yeah, I got it now. This was the wiki page. Um, she was suggesting people go to this and use this script, which also requires VWR search. Um, she suggested W hat as a second option. Then she suggested using HUDs, which she didn't realize also use VWR search. Because there's really only two methods, right? There's VWR search and there's W hat. So, you know, there's the linen supplied 
uh, option, and then there's the um, briefer supplied option. Probably got myself targeted for just saying that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, I don't believe anything has happened with respect to that since the 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 kerfuffle there was what Thank a week much. or two ago. Um, well, my you'll... concern is really just that they don't, you know, decide to deprecate that again. Yeah, um, I'm aware of the issue. That's the best I can the best I can do right now. Um, Thank you, Rose. Y'all gonna get a couple of minutes back? Um, yeah, I'm I'm done. And actually, to be honest, I have to get going. I got a long drive. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend. Be safe, Jess. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Jess. Later, everybody. Oof. Take care, everyone.